Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Asma Moder here, and today I'm going to be showing you a very cool tweak that you can accomplish on your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. But first, I want to start off by saying that I've reached a huge milestone on my channel, and I actually did buy a new video camera, considering that I have very few subscribers. I actually think last time I checked was 20, guys. So please help me out there and subscribe to my channel, which should be right over there. The subscribe button, I believe and it will also help a lot if you like this video but let me get to the whole point so basically i did buy the kodak zi8 it does record in full 1080p hd and that is the setting i'm using right now uh it is kind of dark in my room i don't know if you can see that but please just let me know how you think the quality is i am recording at 30 frames per second so it might not be the smoothest recording time but just let me know and i'm going to show you right now the tweak on Cydia. Hey guys, so now that I have my device, I'm going to show you the cool tweak that actually lets you run Android and Windows Phone 7 operating systems on your iPhone. By the way, this is a simulation of it. You will not actually be able to run exactly the operating system, but it's very close to it. And you'll be running Android version 2.2.1 if you were wondering. Unfortunately, it does not support Android 2.3 gingerbread at the moment. So basically, I just want to let you know right now that I did actually switch my video to 720p at 60 frames per second because the 1080p full HD crop was too much to get my full device in here. And by the way, Way I am using an iPhone 3GS now let's get started so now what you're gonna want to do is go into Cydia and you will have to be jailbroken for this by the way if you want to know how to jailbreak your iDevice it can be any device iPad iPhone iPod touch you're going to want to go to youtube.com slash iPhone monitor or jailbreak central tripod com and check out my jailbreaking videos slash guides so if you are jailbroken you want to go to Cydia once Cydia has loaded up, you want to go into the search. And in search, you want to type in OS Faker. And it is a big boss repository. So as you can see here, you will not have to put in any extra repos or anything like, like that. It just says big boss repository. So you should be good on that part. And other than that, you just click on it and press download. And since I have installed it, actually, I will not need to do that. So now what you're going to want to do is open up OS Faker. And it actually says loader, not OS Faker on it. As you can see here, it says loader. And I'm just going to click on loader. So now it gives you the option to say which operating system you actually want to enter into. So in this case, I want to enter into Android 2.2.1. Give it a second to load. Now it's just going to tell you that all these parts are actually Google's and it is a simulation. So now you are officially in Android. There's actually a few things that I think is really cool that they've customized for you guys, guys to do. So first you got your Google search. Let me just search YouTube. I spelled it wrong, but it's alright. And now as you can see, YouTube comes up and it is actually like in the page. So it's not like a browser that comes out. I think that's pretty cool. Then you can't actually scroll back and forth or anything, but you get... A web browser and in web browser it's actually different from Safari even though I'm sure it is Safari just make they make it look different let's just type in Google search some random thing and here you go DHL fantasy football all this stuff comes to that it works seamlessly like a normal browser and you can just go back forward and just to note to exit the, th um, the operating system you'd want to press the home button Oh, whoops, that's only pressed it twice. But if you just want to exit that page you are on within the operating system, which is Android within iOS, you want to press this virtual home button that is provided here. And now you're back. So you get a customized calendar app. I mean, calculator, excuse me. It's not really that great, but I mean, whatever. And you should get these apps right here you get music camera photos contacts youtube twitter facebook browser which i already went over and a paint which i think is actually pretty cool and just paint stuff and then yeah that's pretty much it for android and now we're gonna go to windows phone 7. 
So now we're back at the iSystem loader screen, and this time we're going to want to select a Windows Phone 7, which is the Windows icon. And now you can see you got these simulation live tiles, which is kind of cool. And then you can just go to your apps like this, it only gives you three apps, and you can't really do much with the apps. So um, I just went to Facebook right now, you can just log in and everything. And here is the calculator which is exactly like the one on Android. <laughs> then you got your notepad, and you can just type stuff. I think it's pretty cool how they did, did this. It's not like the iOS note, notepad like some pe people do. And then you got your live tiles. So I'm gonna just say one thing I don't really like about this. On actual Windows Phone 7, 7 phones, see this arrow up here? You usually click that to get to this. But instead here, you kind of slide it, which is not too realistic in my opinion. So now you can't really scroll, scroll down or anything, but it says pictures and view pictures. This will actually take you to your iOS. And that's fine because you're not actually exiting the thing. If you just press cancel, then you're back to Windows Phone 7. And again, you want to press this virtual home button instead of the actual physical home button provided on your iDevice. Let's press to press the home button and let's just see what they've got in games. All right, well, you've got one game, it is Paint, and it's kind of cool, I guess, but <laughs> you can just go like this, you can paint stuff and double click double tap to clear your paint board so let's go back to the home screen and let's see what they've got it kind of annoys me how the home screen switches from corner to corner but i mean it's a beta so whatever you got your mail email which will just take you to web browser you can sign into windows live which is the dominant microsoft email got facebook which i already went over facebook and twitter actually and then being okay then you can go in your settings info and then loader it just makes up all these things they're not really all true or anything and then about I think this is kind of funny oh it just says oh it's faker and stuff and it's just kind of funny in my opinion you can come read this if you want and I'm gonna go back here and there's text messages and you tap and it takes you back to iOS so you tap to compose and it takes you to iOS you can um just compose to anyone you want and yeah that's pretty much it for this video video guys I just wanted to mention one thing okay I was kind of sketched out to mention this but actually my f someone I know uh, obtain this rumor about a uh, feature iPhone 5s so I'm trying to word this in a way so no one gets in trouble here but uh, they let me just say that uh, one of their family members kind of has a higher up position in Apple and he does this person anonymously does tell me about some Apple rumors and I obtained a rumor that I've not found anyone has posted online before and I'm skeptical to make a video on it. It is a great rumor. I'm sure I'll get a lot of publicity for it. It's about the iPhone 5. And it's something that you guys would have not expected. But I don't think I'm going to mention it in this video just because it's such a big rumor. If you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe and like the video. But for now, it's, it's iPhone Modders signing out.